How's it going folks? Welcome back to World of Warcraft on the Human Paladin playthrough. Oi. We are, are now at Farmwatcher's Glen and this guy just said oi to me. So help for the Desolus and sending the veil. I guess we'll take them both but I'll be sticking to Stone Tail until it's done. I've tried to explain to Salisbury time and time again there is no possible way that I could transform him into a Worgen. He refuses to listen, and has instead convinced himself that if he gains my trust, I will let him in on the secret. Gnomes are very strange, true? Long live, Greymay. Ascending the veil, I am told that before the great upheaval, the charred veil was a valley closed off to the sea. One has merely to look to the south to see that the charred veil is no longer a valley. In fact, has become an area of great volcanic activity. Salisbury here has configured a device that will allow us to ascend the volcano, use it to get to the top and assess the goings on. I will keep in touch with this gnome quarter device, which Salisbury has so kindly gifted upon me. We are bound by a common enemy. So, okay, that's... Hang on, hang on, hang that's on, hang on. enough, Gabin, for me today. What about this Seldaria? Business. Feels like I'm missing something. Like I should have had a quest that maybe took me over here. Alright, well, we'll figure that out after. I'll Thank grab you, the quest anyway. One. I've received a disturbing message from Nigel's point in Desolus. It would seem as if the great upheaval has created some new problems for them, which they are ill equipped to handle. I was given no further information. Report to our office, Officer Janky. And Desolus, she will direct you to Nigel's point. Good luck, Artraxius. We are bound by a common enemy. Alright, so I'm not doing that now. We'll do that later. World first, a gnome again. Gnome again. Good day, citizen. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Salisbury, soon to be the world's first gnome again. Gnome again? What's a gnome again? Gnome again? Malik has assured me that as soon as my work here is complete, he will grant me the gift of the war. Oh, okay. <laughs> A no begin. Within the charred veil south of here roam newly created fire elementals. I desperately need a rare blazing heart of fire. From one of the fiends, get it for me and you bring me one step closer to becoming a gnome again. All right, you then. Salisbury, the help. Walking the doggos, Houndmaster Jonathan. Hungry pups. Ah, a new arrival. Good that you're here, lad. The pups are hungry and we're completely out of food. Thankfully, they love dragon meat, which fortuitously exists in abundance within the charred veil south of here. Be a good boy and fetch me several pounds of black dragon whelp fillet. Filet. Okay. It's kind of a disconnect, <laughs> isn't it? To why we were just... What just happened over here? It's like a nuclear bomb went off. And we're over here collecting filet. And getting this gnome to be a gnome getting. Ah oh, yes, the charred veil. Oh yeah, look at that. So that was all mountainside, I suppose. Or there was a ridge going all the way around. There's always the path to Desolus over there. But this this definitely wasn't like that before. Strangely, though, the whole place was on fire still. I feel. I'm pretty sure there were trees on fire. Oh, anyway. Propel yourself through the air towards a target. There's a black drake there. We need whelp filet. <laughs> and a blazing heart of fire.
It's actually pretty fun. Rocketing along like this. Four of six. Just spam this thing. Still in search of a heart of fire. Oh, there's Soldaria. So this is where the quest shall end. Gotcha. The gnome quarter crackles with energy. I say, are you there, Antraxius? It would appear that you are in the center of a dragon's lair. The brood of Soldaria? Be very careful, Antraxius. You do not want to rouse that black dragon. Now, look around you. If this is a nest, then there must be black dragon eggs nearby. Search the premises for eggs and destroy any that you see. Return to me. Should you find and destroy Saldaria's eggs, Goldren watch over you. What about if I don't? It should have been returned to me when, not if, right? That implies I might not come back at all. This should be very hot. Surprisingly not. How can I stand here? It's my boots. With them special paladin boots. The light protects me. Alright, we're just gonna leave Sildari, I suppose. She might wake up and be very angry. Oh, hurry, Artraxius, the pups are hungry! Oh, excellent! The dogs will be well fed and ready to defend our outpost for weeks! That's all it takes. Just a bit of food. What can I do for you? A smashing success! Perhaps only a minor victory against the brood of Deathwing, but a victory nonetheless. Hierophants, blessed hands. Keep your chin up, eh? All right, so Daria is complete then. Good. Good day to you. Have you recovered the blazing heart of fire? Very well then. Ah, excellent. This will allow me to finish my last task and hopefully gain the form of the wolf. Off and away. What about Sodaria? How are we going to deal with that? Get cabin or get going. Good day. Good day. What? So... Huh? Why am I not dealing with Soldaria? We're just gonna leave her up there to make more eggs. Okay, fine. Still got this rocket on my back. Can I actually use it? Yeah, it'll probably disappear in a sec. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so... Maybe I ought to go back to... Th I mean, they've got this area over here, which is uh, hasn't been uncovered. Maybe there was a quest up there that I missed. Seems strange. 
I also don't like that we get quests that take us out of the zone. That say, hey, I know you're halfway through the zone, but hey, go over to the Desolus. You know, things like that. It feels like they put an effort... Oh, here we go. Here's the quest. It feels like they put an effort in to keep us. You know, from hub, go from hub to hub to hub. And seeing as that doesn't come in, that quest wasn't giving in uh, an unconventional ally. Like, it wouldn't make sense to go here and then out the out this way. But we also had the option of going this way as well. But anyway, that's fine. What brings you here? Let's see how this works out. Seen better days? The world is unraveling around us, Ardraxius. Old enemies seek to destroy us from one end, from one end, while ancient forces close in on the other. Elder Sarantha, Sarethna, sighs. I have seen better days, brighter days, and I long for them. Across down Stone Talon Peak lies the ruins of our old outpost, now overrun with darkness. If you happen to go that way, could you search for my sketchbook? It holds many happy memories. I would reward you well for its return. Good luck, friend. Hello. A dark force grips Stone Talon Peak, Del Madras. putting them to rest. As the Horde were marching upon Stone Talon, I noticed that some of the Sentinels had fallen ill. Not long after, they started acting strangely. When the first tentacle burst from the, burst from the ground, the ill Sentinels began attacking us. We lost the outpost shortly after. The Sentinels in the peak are now nothing more than shells, husks, for something far more sinister. I want you to put the Sentinels to rest and retrieve their glaives. Each glaive I returned can identify a fallen sister. Good luck, friend. Be careful. Back to the depths. Tendrils are bursting forth from my earth and terrorizing Stone Talon Peak. My Sentinels are hardly making a dent in their numbers. I suspect that there is a force at the heart of Stone Talon Peak that controls the Tendrils. Perhaps, if we can put a stop to that force, the tendrils will return to the depths from whence they came. Now, also, I think the animation for the idols, they're going to have a couple different animations, like when they're idle, bouncing up and down while we're talking about the destruction of all their friends and their outposts. Doesn't seem right. Watch over you. I mean, it's hardly like they're saying, oh, we're, we're going to get out there with you and uh, let's, let's hurry up and get going. I've, I'm so full of energy, I need to get out there and help out. They're just bouncing up and down on the spot. I think we need a couple different idle animations, depending on what the mood is and quest context. Now, where did you come from, Tendril? Which old god? Harbinger Aflas. Your remains will feel feed it, which rises. He's not talking about Akuma, is he? This fault means nothing. We are without end. It's not talking about Akuma, is he? Because he keep talking about it rising. An ancient evil carries within him a small measure of the old god's power. This three-headed Hydra is greatly feared for his mindless savagery and insatiable hunger for the living flesh. Another old god somewhere. So, how many old gods have we got? 
Yog Saron? Cthun? A charge? Your charge, I think it was. Uh, Mr. Pandaria. Might mention the name. Yisharj Nazov The Nazov Who was the old god mentioned in this one? I don't know, is Nazoth? Serves the caring might of the old god Nazoth. Um, so there's one more, isn't there? Me, threw me through the geometry of the world. Ah. Elder Sareth Nas sketchbook. Oh. I feel like there's another one. What am I looking for? It is Cataclysm that I'm thinking of. Ulthog is an incredibly ancient- oh what the hell, she th threw me through the world again. Uthog is incredibly ancient, being sent by his old god masters to aid Lady Nazjar. That might be Nazotho. Yeah, I wonder if it's Nazotho with her. Hmm, interesting. Cause that's just off the coast here. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean there's I think there might have been five old gods mentioned at one point. I mean, we are very close to Black Fathom Deeps. 
I don't think it mentions specifically any, any particular old god. It's just the old gods. Yeah. I wonder. But we're very close to it, so I guess it makes sense. There's some old god corruption. There was, what was that? There was something over here. This thing. Implanted into that. I can't remember if that's meant to be an old god. Or if it's like a, you know, a harbinger or something. But I mean the whole area. This whole area here. Something. Something's going on. What's that? Mystical mantle of the Aurora. Right, I need to get one more of these guys. Retrieve the glaive from a corrupted sentinel. I guess they're just too far gone. There ain't no coming back. Let's see what they got to say. I am honored. Farewell. Recover the Sentinel's glaives, Artraxius. Each glaive is unique to a Sentinel. Be careful. Thank you, Artraxius. Each glaive has the name of the Sentinel it belonged to imprinted upon its blade. We can now send word to their families and put their souls to rest. Farewell. I'm afraid that the death of Harbinger Aflas has not ceased the Tendril attacks. You've done all that you can, Artraxius, and for that, I thank you. Good luck, friend. Elune Adore. Have you found my sketchbook? You found it! Elun, bless you, child. Perhaps this book will give me the strength to carry on. Legates of the Winding Ways. Farewell. Okay, well, again. Alright. <laughs> you haven't really sent me on my way, have you? But we have done a good deed, but where do I get the next quest? Let me go over here and have a look. What is over on this side? Not really accessible but by air. I suppose an area like this was, uh, you know, in classic, previously unaccessible. Unac and it doesn't really look like they've put anything here. We do have a bunch of trees. But yeah, because it wasn't accessible during classic. Um... Although they could have easily have made use of it, I suppose. They could have just said, well, during the Cataclysm. Oh, we'll have some harvesters out here or something, I don't know. Some reason to go out here. But it's all, like, it's not uncovering. Oh, there's something over here. What's this, a tauren? Tauren structure? Got a boiling cauldron, but no taurins or uh, trolls. Ancient night elf. I go to there. So that's things you would have seen when you were flying over the top on your fly paths before you could take flight. Um, but yeah, like, where do I go? 
Where am I supposed to go, game? Well, I got this hearthstone of Thalamir in. Let's go back to Thalamir in and see if that takes us anywhere. Because clearly we got an unconventional ally there. Thalamir in. Where is this unconventional ally? Well, let me read the quest text for these two again. Tell them Coco has sent you. Northwatch could use really use a powerful human like you. You're taking a we're taking a beating in the Southern Barrens and need your help. The bomb, it's a problem, but Stone Island is exactly prime real estate. This place is a dump before the horde sunk their claws into it. So this I haven't got this place uncovered. I guess I'll go here and then I'll just fly. Oh, hang on, there is something here. Oh no, it's just that. <laughs> That's not what I need. That's uh, the Midsummer Festival. Well, I don't really know where the quest is without looking it up, of course. Um, so I might just go down this way. I do tell him Coco sent you. Because it might be a quest on the way out. Way out of the zone. Over the top of the rifleman. Perhaps this isn't quite the next zone. Oh, here we go. Yes, okay. Fantastic. I thought it was actually going into the next zone, the next zone, the zone lines over here. So this is it. Force Commander Valen. What's on your mind? Cossack sent you here. Surprising. I thought for sure that he'd be dead by now. Well, if you made it past the blockade, then you definitely have something that we can use. Now, do you have any news of the Horde? What are they doing? Where are they going? You're telling me everything. Keep your feet on the ground! 